back. So this part 32 now, I believe it is. Um, and yeah, we just got to kind of continue on in this area. Um, yeah. So let's go around here quick. Yeah, I believe we're just um, going into this area, I think it is. Yeah. I don't think there's too much... Um, <clears throat> Don't think this area is quite as involved. It's pretty much just a straight shot up. I'm saying that, but I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Here we go. Hey, as you can imagine, we're getting teleported to another area. I'm going to take out another boss. Alright, we'll go back. We'll um, bring my normal people back in. <clears throat> you know, not normal people, you know what I mean? That's not could be offensive, so sorry, Fran and Penella. It's uh, one of these things. Kind of floating fish thing. I don't know how it works, but it does. Yeah, this guy cool. has regen. Um, And yeah, obviously my, uh, he's immune to my weapon, not having Bosch. Yeah, really nothing to write home about, pretty straightforward really. You know, compared to a lot of the hunts we've done now, these guys are nothing, really. Just, uh, easy to take care of. Uh, and as always, when I say that, Ash dies. Yeah, so yeah. His defense just goes up pretty high. After that, so. No. Got my cat sleeping around PlayStation. that boss done. Pretty easy, really. Congratulations. Continue on. There, yeah, we just make our way right around now. Okay. Oh, I've got them treasures. Uh, doesn't matter. Now, we're in the second ascent. And yeah, as you can see, Got her. So yeah, believe it or not, we actually have to um, <clears throat> get more of the old black crystals. There's another safe point as well if you need it. Hmm. 
Oh yeah. I believe. Yeah. There's so nothing going here, but I think we can't. Yeah. <clears throat> can't use magic. I think. Um, well, maybe not. I don't know. I swear that was a thing. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. We'll find out. Anyway, let's move up. We have to uh, kind of uh, get some of these here. So. Oh God, Reddit's just still there fighting someone. More frogs were out. I think we have to um, get up the next bit of something. Sorry, yeah. Sorry to say that properly. I, I believe um, <clears throat> there's an entrance to the next floor on one of these or something. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm so dumb. Sorry. Yeah, the um, that purple one that took away my mini map. Yeah, because one of those altars did take away. Um, I think you can either take away mini map, attack, magic, and uh, what was it? Command abilities or something? Item. Sorry. Yeah. So, and obviously in this version, getting rid of your mini map is pointless because you have the extra map on top of it. So. I think that's a decent, um, yeah, 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 that's a good, a decent equipment there, nice, um, yeah, and that's one of the better, of the, um, armors, um, the light armor anyway. And obviously, yeah, light armor gives you more HP, so it's always a good thing. Yeah. 
I mean, obviously, um, you may as well just get rid of your mini map when you're doing this. There's no point. Um, yeah, for some reason, I thought it was on the next floor where you had to do that, but I guess I'm wrong. God's sakes. I think this is where we're trying to go to. If I'm correct. Another behemoth type of enemy. Got love them, right? Yeah, there we go. winged buff dudes another level nice boss we fought. Yeah. Get a good amount of experience in these guys now, which is awesome. Okay, anyway. I think this area here is how we get to the next floor. Um, I think I, I did, went with no magic or something when I did this. Yeah, there's uh, people doing some like building work outside, so my cat's intrigued, so I has to look outside. It's quite funny. <laughs> Hopefully, you can't hear that that well. Okay. I like how loud their footsteps are. I mean, they don't seem big enough to be making those sorts of footsteps, but it's, it, I don't know. In my head, it's like they're trying to um, be intimidating or something. I don't know. <laughs> Annoying. 
It's funny when games are like that. Like, no, no, you've got to go the wrong way. Sorry. Yeah, I was um, just thinking about some an interesting topic, really. Uh, you know, have you guys ever like has one game convinced you? pick up a console. I've been uh, like thinking about the, the different consoles that I've bought because of a single game and uh, just wondering if I'm the only person crazy enough. Because um, yeah I always seem to remember uh, well there was um, you know the Wii U for example like basically as soon as they announced Bayonetta 2 I had to run out and get one and um, which is one of them uh, yeah it's just one of them games where it's like yes you know this is worth buying a whole console for. Um, yeah, it is a great game though. But yeah, literally, I think, because I'm sure people know this, but you know, Bayonetta One was a multi-plat game, um, and then yeah, for some for some random reason, they didn't want to do a sequel for it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why. Um, I suppose they they just thought it underperformed or something. Um, yeah, so Nintendo actually published the game. Um, thankfully, because the Wii U was struggling and Nintendo needed the game, they decided to do it. So yeah, um, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have had Bayonetta two and three, which still blows my mind because like the first game was like really friggin' highly regarded. I think it got nines out of tens. Some places gave it like ten out of ten and stuff. So yeah, it just makes no friggin' sense to me. But yeah, that's Sega for you. <laughs> They'd rather make a million different Sonic games, but you know, Bayonetta, that's... Nah. Um, and then yeah, also I remember the, um, oh my god, uh, the 3DS, like, Resident Evil Revelations. Um, yeah, I remember that was quite interesting because I'm sure everyone knows this. Wait, what was that? No way. Nice. That's a good weapon. Muramasa. Sweet. That's quite a uh, step up as well. And it has no elemental affinity as well. Um, I don't think that's the best one though. I keep going to gambits when I mean to go licenses. Where were they? Yeah, I think these two are strong, obviously, that's the the ultimate one, but yeah, this is nice. Very good. Yeah. Hopefully I'll get the ultimate blade as well. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to take on another enemy now. Not too hard, but yeah, um, Resident Evil um, PSP or Resident Evil Portable um, was originally announced. And then uh, I'm assuming... PSP just wasn't powerful enough for what they wanted to do, so they must have moved over to um, 3DS. Plus, the you know, Capcom balls had a really good relationship with Nintendo, you know, since the the old Capcom Five and all that. What you healing? Um, and then uh, yeah, so then they moved over to 3DS, and then yeah, as soon as that was announced, they were picking it up. And I remember what was cool was um, I then picked up, um, I think it was uh, the Mercenaries 3D, which was like near enough a launch title. And um, what was cool about that is it had a little demo for Revelations on it. Um, yeah, really short. Yeah, nice and easy boss. He's kind of like a tiger behemoth sort of thing, isn't he? But yeah, um, yeah, that was really cool. Uh, you pretty much you just play as Jill, and then you you walk in. Um, it's that section where you've in the main game where you see Rachel die, but I don't think it's her. Um, 
then you just fight off a couple of enemies that I think they'll just keep spawning and kill you or something. I can't remember. Yeah, it's very strange. But cool demo nonetheless. Uh, most seems 3D was awesome as well, actually. Even though you never got... Um... Okay. Even though, yeah, the game uh, didn't have Leon in it, which was annoying. Um, I mean, it had, uh, had Jill. Oh, it did have a Resident Evil 3 costume, which was awesome. Which is a classic, as we all know. Wait, legit. One of the most iconic kind of things in gaming. I think, yeah. Pretty much near the last kind of area now, I think. Yeah, I remember this section um, really caused me trouble <laughs> when I first played it. So. Yeah, all we have to do is uh, go on here. And we can descend up one floor, which is nice. But yeah, Resident Evil Revelations was, was awesome though. Definitely um, worth picking up a uh, whole console for, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I even picked up the um, Muddy Circle Pro as well, just to be able to play it properly. Because, um, yeah, I'm sure people know this, but the uh, basically, um, yeah, the game lets you do kind of uh, a few different control schemes. You can do like only the 3DS version, obviously, first person. Um, uh, and then you had the classic kind of Resident Evil 4 style control um, where you can't move and shoot at the same time and then you got the um, the other one your uh, like more Resident Evil 6 ish or modern one dual analog move and shoot control scheme and what I really like about it is that you actually had the, the laser sight as well which is my favorite part about it okay Okay, this was the area I was thinking of. Um, the really long one. Yeah, this one, you have to basically touch these things. Basically, um, you have to press the right pedestal, coloured one. Um, if not, you go down into that room, have to fight a load of enemies, and then um, kind of restart. So yeah, th this is 
yeah, I remember doing this completely blind trial and error first time, which was like ridiculous when you think about it. something here no mm. okay um. yeah, I think So this is that room I was talking about, but yeah, I need to go here because the urn is over here, so but we'll take care of the enemies first, but yeah, basically get a load of enemies spawning, and then yeah, eventually, when you kill them, Once you've eventually killed them all, the uh, door will open. Or well, I think they spawn and then eventually the door will open or something. Like it's a timer thing, you just have to like survive, I think. that side. Okay, I guess they do eventually go. But yeah, you can just continue on from there pretty much. these guys again. Yeah, so we press this one first. It's all pretty straightforward. We have um, two attempts as well, so I think that's different to the original, maybe. Nice. Yep. Ooh, I don't even know what that is. Ah, okay. It's a gun. Sweet. I think this one we need to press.
Nice. Ah, great. Bloody hell. these guys. The old cut stuff. Okay, let's take this guy out. Franz Gambit's back on, did I? Bloody arm stupid. Ooh. I think... Do I have that already? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just nullify sleep. Nothing special. I thought it was going to be a good one. We've got the flare spell. That's a good one. Okay, is this the right area? This one here. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, don't get too far away from the top now. Thank you. Nice one, Fran.
Okay. Yeah, I think this is a trick one way you have to remember. The thing you, um... The one you pressed when you first got here. found not 100% okay. yep yeah so this should be it Ooh. so yeah we just have to go here now yeah we skip Straight to ninety. Whoa, what could that be? Obviously, it's not going to be that easy. Now, be ready for boss time. This is Hashmel. He likes to smoke hash. I'm sure he has a hash drive where he like Ricky. But yeah, um, this guy is... Uh, the Earth Elemental Vesper, so. Uh, and yeah, obviously he does disease, because he's a dick. On. And then let's see if we can slow him. Don't know if that works. No, of course he's immune. Okay, and get a bravery on Vaughn. Get a bubble on Ash. Yeah, this is his kind of ultimate attack. As they all have. Yeah, it's very strange. There's not actually that many, like, Earth Elemental dudes in Final Fantasy, is there? Really? I mean, actually think about it. Um, I mean, you have Titan, but... Um, in the more modern ones, anyway. Like, they usually always, um... Forget about the Earth Elemental, for some reason. Like, it was in 15. Um, I mean, he's going to be in 7 Rebirth. Well, he is going to be in 7 Rebirth. Um, yeah, I don't think it was in... 
13, was it? There wasn't an Earth one in 13, I don't... Oh no, there was. I think it was... No, I guess technically there weren't elements, were there? Well, I mean, there were actually, weren't they? So... What was that one? Hic Hicotonkeries? I think was Earth. Um, Vinyl's one. But yeah, we can continue on now. Yes, that's that's floor um, 89 there, so that's why we can travel to it. I guess it was designed to be like a battle arena or something, I don't know. Yeah, this is, uh, I think, pretty much straightforward now. Um, we just have to get to the top of this area now, from what I remember. Yeah, there we go. The din of the mist time. grows greater. The sun crisp must be near. I wonder if she'll really do it. Take revenge against the Empire. I mean, I know how she must feel. It's hard, losing someone you care about. Something we all got in common. But you know, no matter how hard we try, we can't change the past. There's nothing that can bring them back. Exactly. Still, sometimes when I close my eyes, I can see them so clearly. The illusions of the past. You think to have cast them off, only to find them years later, unwearying, unrelenting. The past can bind a man as surely as irons. Absolutely. It's best just Cut to let go, the you know? true path. But will she? Yeah, I do like that there's a bit of a, um, you know, she's kind of, uh, let's take that off again. Um, yeah, that's one thing I really like, the fact that, you know, Ash is kind of, like, um, not going to be falling, or, well, she has a chance to kind of, um, uh, undo the mistakes of the past, in a way, of the Dynast King, where he kind of happily was a tool for the Akira, um, whereas, you know, she was just like, Nah. I'm alright, fam. Anyway, um, I'm going to call it for this episode because, um, yeah, when we get to the next area, I'm pretty sure it's still a bit of a long one. Um, yeah. Like, um, you know, we've got some big cutscenes and blah blah blah, and um, yeah, I'd rather just save that for the next part, so yeah. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.